Hello and welcome. I'm Christian Perry, Director of Syndicated Research at Enterprise Strategy Group, and I'm happy to be joined today by distinguished analyst John Oldsick. John, how are you today? I'm well, Christian. How are you? I am also well, thank you. So today we're going to talk about the impact of generative AI on the cybersecurity landscape. And John, as you know, Gen AI had a massive impact across the globe in the last 10 months or so. And now both IT and business decision makers are sort of scrambling to assess how Gen AI will help them in their various initiatives. And we here at Enterprise Strategy Group conducted an extensive survey that examines the evolving use cases, challenges, stakeholders, and other aspects surrounding this, this game changer. So notably, cybersecurity has emerged as a big focal point for potential benefits, but also potential threats. John, as you know, we found that organizations are targeting a pretty extensive range of security use cases for generative AI, including threat intelligence analysis, workflow automation, uh, incident response, forensic investigations, and so on. Can you talk about why security teams are considering these and other security use cases for Gen AI? Sure. So uh, we are consuming Gen AI, or Gen AI is arriving at a time where there's a global cybersecurity skill shortage. We've done a lot of research on that with the Information Systems Security Association, or ISSA. If you're short staffed, and by the way, organizations are pretty much short staffed, especially smaller organizations, organizations in the public sector, organizations located in rural areas, pretty much everyone. So if you're short staffed, what, what, and you can't hire your way out of your security challenges, uh, you need automation. You need to bolster the productivity of your people. Generative AI has the potential to do that. So it can give people information or synthesize information that they would that would take them a lot longer to synthesize. It can generate reports. It can suggest next steps and even automate next steps. Uh, so it has the potential to do a lot of things that help us with our knowledge, help us automate manual tasks, help us move along workflows much more rapidly. And that potential should be attractive to everyone. Yeah, so I, I think it's interesting along those lines that there's a belief that that generative AI innovation certainly can or should provide advantages not only to legitimate organizations looking to improve their cybersecurity, but also the adversaries who also will or well, probably likely will uh, leverage the technology for their own benefit. In fact, half the organizations we spoke with said that both groups will gain advantages. John, how do you think this is going to play out in the coming year? Christian, I'm not surprised that both groups, are, it's about 50-50 who gains the advantage, adversaries or defenders, because we just don't know yet. And on balance, that's the way technology has gone in the past. At this point, based on the threat intelligence sources that I follow, there's no evidence to suggest that adversaries are using generative AI advantageously, at least not to a great extent. Now, that doesn't mean they're not using it at all. And we know about synthetic or, or creating synthetic phishing emails and deep fakes and things like that. And that will happen. We have to be prepared for that. But there's a thought in the market that there may be a defender's advantage. Uh, now, if I'm the CISO, I want to tell my people, we don't know. We don't know how the adversaries will use this yet. We have some inkling, but we don't know. So we need to be prepared. We need to study what they're doing. We need to study the vulnerabilities in this technology. We need to look at our controls and our processes to see if we're vulnerable to any kind of intrusions or exploits. And so I want people to be diligent. I don't want them to, to kind of get comfortable with that uh, defender's advantage mindset, I want them to really think through what are the risks here and then put in the right strategies for risk mitigation. Yeah, no doubt. Nobody can afford to be taken off guard with anything around security, but especially with Gen AI, considering its its power and potential. And you know, along those lines of, of preparation, we also found that one of the most common steps being taken today by 
organizations to better prepare for Gen AI is performing due diligence on AI models that are used by security vendors. John, why is that important? And what else should security teams be doing for this for this preparation? It's important because every vendor that you work with will be talking about their generative AI offerings or roadmap. And you want to understand what they're doing there because there are some vendors who are building on open source, some vendors who are creating their own large language models or LLMs. Uh, there are some vendors who are working with other vendors on these. And you really want to understand that because you have to question the integrity of the data. You have to question the data sources. Um, you have to question whether there's enough security content in those large language models and if the security content is rel relevant to you. For example, if I'm a healthcare organization, I probably want security data in there that looks at IoT devices used in clinical care, used for, uh, for bedside care in a hospital. And so all of these questions have to be out there. And uh, from a security perspective, security professional perspective, we're not data scientists. We're not, uh, we're not generative AI experts. So we have to do our research. We have to work with our vendors. And we have to take a slow and steady approach to this. Understanding it can it can be tremendously advantageous to adopt generative AI, but we have to be on our guard to make sure we do it right. No doubt. I, I think it's it's safe to say that this is going to be an interesting year ahead, but also a very busy year to prepare for the, the coming transformation. And of course, we'll be right there to research it along the way. John, thanks so much for your valuable insight as always. My pleasure, Christian. And thanks to our audience for watching us today. And, and please watch our other videos in our Gen AI series. And don't hesitate to reach out to us for further discussion.